So how do we get to this point? Well, first and foremost, let me shout out J Mills Tuning and James over there, uh, the guy that always does my tuning. So if you're a long time subscriber, you know that's the only guy I go to. And uh, if it wasn't for him, we would not be looking at this thing as beautiful as it sits. So everybody go over to his Instagram. I will put it right here on the screen as well as link it in the description and follow him and find my picture and thank him and put maybe a hashtag DF squad or something on there because this guy really goes above and beyond for me and I really appreciate the support. So without any further of me talking, let's roll the footage of James when he first got the car and turn it down and trying to get it to where it's at today. James here from JML Tuning. Got Dell CB7 in. The last time you'll see this thing in A. Let's see reverse it back in the future. I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's put this turbo kit on. Turbo is kind of mocked up. It's not on there. We got issues. So Dale has supplied us with just a pile of parts pretty much, which is fine when you're doing a setup like this. But uh, we got a two band, I mean a two bolt 38 millimeter gate and a 44 millimeter V band. That's not gonna work. And then our next dilemma is, that's mixed in with it is our clearance from the alternator to the turbo with this setup. We don't know what we're gonna do yet. We obviously have to make a adapter to change our gate over to V-band. Uh, we don't really have the room that for that here. Not sure what we're gonna do. Dale said get rid of AC. So the AC compressor is gonna go. I wanna move that alternator down lower. That'll give us our room. Won't be fighting here for room anymore. So I think that's what's gonna happen. We'll update you as we go. All right, the alternator's off. We're moving it down there. It used to be up here. Right beside that. All right, we're back. Alternator's on. We've gotten a lot done. We didn't pick the camera up. Excuse me. we got a lot going on in the shop. YouTube's not my priority. Sorry, guys. But, uh, Alternator's relocated, hot side of the charge piping is done, it comes through, intercooler, goes around, comes up, we just get to get the, got to get the gate and the downpipe sorted out, we'll be moving right along. Alright, more work on Dale's, downpipe is completed, we just got to tie it into the exhaust. Can't really see much. I'll go down. You can see that, but uh, yeah, tight fit. Let's go down. There's the downpipe and all its glory. Dump tubes on as well with the gate. We're uh, getting closer. I think Jeremy even got the injectors in. He did. He's getting close. She's done guys, I just threw a base map on it. It's a waiting down her time. Dale don't even know currently. She's running, not going on the dyno just yet. Just uh, checking for leaks and things. We did have a fuel leak at one of the injector o rings, but uh, just took care of that.
there feels rich as hell if you can see that. Not too bad. What is going on YouTube? So last video y'all saw us tune this thing and now we're at a max of 307 or well, 306 horsepower and 307 foot pounds of torque which is freaking ridiculous never thought that this thing would make that much torque and the clutch didn't either so that let go so what we have to do is get a better clutch i am in the works of um, trying to get a deal with action clutch right now so hopefully i'll hear back from them within the next week or so and maybe we can get a, a action clutch on board with this build and that would be really cool but if not no big deal um i'm just gonna go with james and the uh comp stage four he can get it for about 320 so i think that's pretty much the best deal as far as a solid clutch goes to hold his power so once we do that we'll be able to turn it up a little bit more than we made the 307 on maybe we're, we're thinking 14 pounds and maybe even add a little bit more timing in it because like we're really conservative guys this thing has absolutely no timing added so um yeah at the end of the day we're hoping for around 320 330 um torque to the wheels which i think is going to be a fucking rocket ship in this car and uh it should be really fun but um in this video basically what i want to do is try to go over the cost breakdown of everything you see here and i will be leaving links in the description for everything so uh, check that check down below but uh the original plan for this turbo setup was to have max speed and rides like supply everything piping and all but unfortunately they did not have any three inch in stock so i ended up having to get the piping kit from ebay it was a three inch like had straights elbows and everything and that's what they use to make the complete setup that goes down goes underneath the rad down there into the front mount intercooler and that kit was uh i'll put that on the screen it came with the full piping kit so three inch stainless steel so pretty good buy next we needed um an intercooler actually and i went i was gonna go with the max speed and rise one but i wanted something bigger because i wanted mine to be able to breathe as best as possible because we are running a log manifold and i wanted i know that's the restrictive part of this setup right now so i wanted everything else to flow as beautifully as possible so that we can make the most power without overworking the turbo so that's why i wanted a really good front mount intercooler um the one I bought, we actually couldn't use. It was too big, James said, and it would be like touching the ground. So he had this kind of custom one. I didn't kill a lot of bees in that thing, but he had this kind of custom one in the shop already. So we ended up using this one. It's like the perfect size, flows really well, has really decent size end tanks on it. So yeah, works great. Next, we needed so I got this manifold from a guy up near Durham. I paid, I wanna say 50 or 60 bucks for that, which knew they're like 65, 70 bucks, but this one was new when I got it. So, you know, I just didn't have to wait for it to come in the mail, but so about 50, 60 bucks for that. The turbo is a Max Speed and Rise turbo. I will put it on the screen right now. It's about $212 for this turbo retarded right 212 dollars for a whole turbo and um the next thing we got is this wastegate which is also max speed and rise and i want to say that goes for about 50 bucks uh, again i'm leaving i'm putting everything on on the screen because i'm i'm just going off the top of my head right now and trying to get this done so i'm leaving all the stuff on the screen as well as everything will be linked below so anything you see that you may like um feel free to go down into the description and everything will be linked but yeah this uh wastegate was from max speed and rides it's so far holding up really well no issues 
Um, again, when you buy these, make sure you check the diaphragm, make sure nothing's pinched or anything so you don't accidentally maybe over boost or have a boost leak and don't know where it's coming from. And inside of it, I'm still holding the eight pound spring that it came with. I do have two more springs, so if we need those, we could turn it up with those, but thankfully we have a Mac boost controller in here that is an electronic boost controller these things are really cheap it went for about 35 bucks i want to say and uh yeah that thing is a godsend so essentially james says that with this thing you can if you got an eight pound spring you can triple whatever your spring is also this uh helped us to make that beautiful curve if you saw I'll try to put it on the screen now, but that curve is absolutely phenomenal. And this thing right here really helps you with that. It ramps up really fast. Like this thing goes to working at two PSI. You don't know it cause you're in the car, but at two pounds, this thing actually kicks on and regulates so that you have the smoothest possible, like, you know, as good a boost control as you can without doing like an electronic wastegate. So that's really dope, really cheap. I definitely recommend if you're running a manual one, get one of these and have it wired into your ECU. It will definitely help you. So, um, yeah, that's that. Next, we got the good old Max Speed and Rides blow off valve. And these things are around 35 bucks, I want to say. Again, link is in the description. And um, it sounds good. It's not crazy loud. I thought it would be louder than that, but it's got a nice whoosh to it. So, you can definitely tell you're spooling up. We have a PLM, no, yeah, PLM um, map sensor, which James says these work really good with the Honda tuning suite software, but not so good with like uh, Hyundai and stuff. So yeah, I don't know if you're running Hyundai, you might not want one, but it works great for me, no issues. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's about it. I had this red already. This is a just an eBay aluminum radiator. Uh, I'll go back and try to find that link as well in case anybody has a CB and wants to upgrade their red because that thing is nice. Um, I want to say that was like 120 bucks, and it's I mean it's nice, man. It it really keeps it cool, so definitely a plus there. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Pretty simple setup. Uh, it definitely works. A lot of this stuff you're seeing is custom. So this is not a eBay, a complete eBay kit. Like they custom my downpipe. They made this custom um, like wastegate adapter flange, which goes from the two boat, which is what this manifold was, to a V-band so that I could run the Max Speed and Rise V-band wastegate because I do have a 44 millimeter. And um, yeah, this uh, dump pipe is, all of this stuff is, custom work by james and them at the shop so super hype these wheels look amazing uh, everything is nice and neat no complaints there and um yeah we got as few couplers as possible so that we have as few issues with something blowing off as necessary now i did get a catch can from max speed and rides but upon talking to james and stuff um, he was like, we don't need it. The, the engine is really, really healthy. This is a JDM motor. So it's got low miles and we have basically zero blow by. So the engine is just, it's superb. So there's no need for a catch can right now. And then if you come inside the car, we have a few more, well, one or two more items that we're gonna be working on in the upcoming video. But here we have the AM, uh, wide band, which this thing was about 180 bucks. And yeah, this is just, you know, to make sure you know what your air fuels are. Y'all know what it is, but yeah, we have that. And we also have a boost gauge that I will show you that um, we are gonna be relocating that and the boost gauge into this center area here. And we're gonna be deleting the CD player. I have a um, ghost box from JDI. So shout out to those guys. I have a ghost box that we're gonna be installing in here, deleting the whole radio, as well as I have a piece of uh, plastic coming from eBay, just a, just a sheet of, like I think it's about an eight by 12 
sheet of um, ABS plastic and we're gonna be cutting it to fit in here and we're gonna mount the gauges right in that bad boy. Make sure that you stay tuned for the updates that comes with this car, man. This thing is looking really phenomenal, guys. We just a few steps away from throwing a paint job on it and this thing is gonna be freaking mint. So yeah, make sure you hit that like button for me. Stay tuned, we will be doing some pools in the street on this thing, hopefully really soon. So the weather is starting to change. We're starting to get a little cool nights and stuff. So we're gonna definitely be putting this thing to the test. And uh, if you're excited, stick around. But with all that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you found any of this information useful, make sure you smack the like button for me. Again, all the stuff is in the links below. And uh, yeah, I will catch y'all later. Remember, respect all videos. Peace out.